Hello Unity peoples, this is Tim Grotman, and I was playing around with Photoshop. The Unity API lacks a way to access layers in Photoshop, like when you import a Photoshop file, it just merges all the layers down or flattens it, and I wanted to be able to access the Photoshop layers through script. So uh, a lot of hacking and whatnot, and writing some unmanaged and managed code and whatever and I've made this little panel uh, guy so basically this panel waits for me to click on a Photoshop file here we go uh, ignore these control warnings for now I'll fix that up anyways I wanted a way to be able to sketch like little animations and then be able to turn off various layers here we go and turn on various layers and affect the timing so that when you're drawing these things <laughs> you can uh, have it switch back and forth between a, a certain layer or something while you get it worked out. Now I think I like around 750 okay so anyways how does this work? Okay well this is linked to a Photoshop file that it's following now these numbered buttons are layers so normally clicking on these would I guess clicking on them doesn't do anything visually in this example but uh, these checkboxes do um, uh, the boxes that are checked are the layers that it's looping with alright so I'm gonna move this over to the right oh, there we go I'll have it take up half my screen and then if I click here and then hover over the panel and hit spacebar, that maximizes it. And now I can see the panel, which it keeps animating when I switch over to Photoshop. And if I remove a layer, if I remove a layer here and save it, it'll automatically reload the Photoshop file and import the layers, and it will maintain the uh, the checkboxes, mainly for adding. I hadn't actually tried removing them yet. Okay, so let's start with some awesome art. Okay, need a new layer, ditch this old layer. Okay, save it, and you can see um, that it updated right away. Okay, so here we go. I will draw a stick figure. Yes, stick figure. That's an excellent plan. All right, that's the head, the body, some some arms, really long arms. And I'll make a curved thing, and maybe some shoes. I'm using a mouse. Bear with me here. Oh, so bad. Okay. Here we go. So anyways, I'm drawing the first frame here, and there. He's got short arms. There we go. <laughs> and there we go. So that's frame one. I'm going to save it, and there we go. That's our first frame. And make a new layer. And I'll do the same thing, but this time he's got arms swinging around like this. And there we go, draw the body, the feet again, the shoes. Oh my gosh. Either way, okay, we have another frame. Save that. And now he's animating between those two frames. All right, I'll just keep going. <laughs> okay, give him another frame here. There we go. Save that. Doesn't have arms yet. Let's 
save. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we can mess with the timings. Okay, and you'll notice these checkboxes. So now it's just looping through those two, um, layer four and layer two. But really they're named. It's uh, Let's do some color so you can tell the difference. Okay. Save that. Okay, so this layer is number one, number two, number three. Okay. So I'm just coloring there, save it, switch back. Do some red. For the third frame. Oh, interesting. I painted the uh, painted on the wrong layer there. third layer. Awesome. All right, anyways, so yeah, this is just the start of a tool that lets me access Photoshop layers in the editor panel and, and the way that I've done it. It also works in the standalone Mac and Windows and Linux. Um, if you wanted to programmatically access your layers to do uh, certain things, or I had thought about possibly taking the Photoshop layers, like painting them like this, and then clicking a button, and they would automatically index them into an atlas or a sprite sheet, and that might be kind of a cool deal. So there'd be more controls to uh, just take this guy, and it, it would generate a grid, and put uh, your walking animation in a grid, and you might be able to control like the size of each grid element, how many different actions there are. And then it works with uh, other tools that use sprite sheets. Alright, well cool. Well thanks for watching.